I gotta say, it's pretty relaxed for parking on shoreline in Mountain View. Pretty relaxed. There, I passed by several RVs. One guy even put a sign that said, please don't tow my RV, call this number. So I think he's like established in his spot because he hasn't been towed. So it's, it's not far from the library, but I do have a complaint about that library. I expected to be able to, to upload silly pictures standing outside that library and I'm getting, and it's, it's not, nothing can upload. It's got a very bad connection outside. I've never seen such transparency with the fire department before. It's a lot of window. You can see everything they do in there. I'd set up all these benches on a bridge. So this is a bridge. It's kind of a mystery. They plant trees on a bridge. And with these benches. The railway bridge. You can plant trees on the bridge, but they won't stand for these vines. Kill them off. It took a while though, let those vines grow to the top. The utility pole here is bothersome. It's just leaning into a house. <clears throat> so is that one down there. Some animals establish dominance. This bird establishes craziness. It is quite chilly out here. Feels like it's in the low 50s. People actually swim during the daytime in the morning here. They, co they co are covered. They covered up the pool, so that's uh, a way to prevent people from just jumping in uh, off after hours. This RV's been sitting here in front of me for a long time. I think somebody had enough time to uh, slip in a cock and balls underneath that that uh, duck. So obscure, I, I never noticed it when I walked by, but after staring at it now, sitting here, man, it's, it's kind of funny. A homeless version of studio apartment would be something like this, which is, it says it's Acme bread on the side, which is all scratched out, compared to this, which is good living. My sleeping in my car is more like living in a tent. City of Mountain View with all its affiliations. Order of the White Shrine. Pretty much slept on the same road that the Googleplex is on. We're about three or four miles apart. I've come down one mile to the Safeway. Yeah, just a slight curve and then it continues on to the to the bay, to the to the coast, or to the Googleplex. What is Vita? They got this huge screen. They got all the stars to the right. Excellence and employee benefits. Life with better benefits. Is that like vitality or something? Probably get less painful pedals. I keep scratching my legs. I just I thought I didn't think I would have cut myself. I, I scratched it pretty hard and, I, and it feels tender now after running into my leg with a pedal again for the millionth time. Okay, you can hop on the 101 freeway entrance. Pedestrians, bicycles prohibited because they have set up other roads. And that's 101. Now this is 85. I'm not sure sure where 101 goes oh San Jose Los Angeles so it goes south you can hop on the 101 here for old middle field way wow what a huge <clears throat> oh my god somebody's coming up behind me so I think that the group, whatever, this is a big building over here. It's a part of, that's the, okay, that's a VTA. 
the bus transport system. They got a headquarters there and a building over there. I think the Googleplex is supposed to be on the left hand side. Yeah, I'm getting the tail end of that. Alright, so this building is a computer history museum, which most likely is not open on a on a memory day. Let's see by the sign. <clears throat> Hopefully they say the price at the uh, entrance here. <clears throat> nice parking with the bricks. It's a long entrance. They're not going to have anything on display outside it. Revolution. Yeah. Okay. There are the hours. It wouldn't even be open today on a Monday, Tuesday. Starts on Wednesday. Wow. So there was a sign inside that said that computer exhibits are only on the ground floor. So they got stuff up above. It's a couple a couple stories high. So it's a very limited museum. That's probably why it's only... Uh, that's why they're not opening on Monday and Tuesday. I E E E milestones. You see it on the brick wall here. Just a couple of signs. Behind this computer museum, they got this huge covering. That's the biggest cover for a vehicle I've ever seen. And even a special cover for a smokestack. Looks like it's some kind of RV. And they got a covered car over there. <laughs> it's the first covered car I've seen in a, a, like a public open parking lot. Main entrance. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy over there. I suppose when you see cars parked at the Tesla station, they're not going to be parked by themselves. I get the impression you probably want to have two cars if you're going to have Teslas. One being charged all the time. At the intersection of Shoreline and Plymouth, it's the first evidence overtime fitness. <laughs> first evidence for a, a Google sign, and of course, oh, well, okay. They're just gonna say that parking is restricted. So in between, there was some obscure building, and then there's another Google building. I'm not sure where the Googleplex starts. They don't fence off anything. It's kind of protected by distance from the community. There's no... I don't see any living arrangements out here. They like zone this off all industrial or something. Okay, so this is another Google sign. I'm guessing that the Googleplex is this, and that you just gotta go in to have a look around. The central part is, yeah, it's in, in that way. Oh, it says no trespassing there. So you gotta move quick. At this hour, well, there's security most likely. Google's over there too across the intersection over there shoreline business park and then you can see this big like roof tent i guess that's the amphitheater wow they're building google's building something else what is this some other big google operation and they got a lot of space so these businesses are getting paid Looks like this Google complex has taken up as much space as the uh, as the Apple mothership. And they already got a lot of space. I understand why this is called the shoreline road now, because it takes you to the shoreline. Why is this a big deal? No portable signage allowed? And it's a do not enter anyway. This is not a part of Google. The city owns the amphitheater. I think they say have concerts or whatever here. Lady Antebellum is coming up and oh my god, this is nice. So they 
put a lot of effort into controlling traffic as a Google bicycle. You got like a little mini village. Yeah, they didn't lock this one. I saw that they uh, like offer these vehicles, these, these bicycles for free without any locks.